Hello friends, this is Shomen from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. I have discussed before about the pigging of pipeline. To measure the internal diameter and to check any internal deviation or dents in the pipeline, this is termed as caliper survey or smart pigging or electronic geometry pigging. Today we will be discuss about this caliper survey. It is also part of pipeline process. The caliper survey is to determine the determine any internal deviation or dents which is unacceptable before proceed with the hydro test or final acceptance. To save the smart peak, some contractor do the caliper survey after hydro test. But remember that if any dents or deviations which are unacceptable are detected during caliper survey, we must cut that section out, re-weld with a fresh good section of pipeline and we need to redo the hydro test, internal cleaning and all the activities again. Contractor is taking that risk. Generally, the rejection or dent in the pipeline is very rare, maybe 1% or 2%. Let us start with the procedure in short. Here in the picture you can see one smart peak. Energy companies use a special pipeline inspection gauge which is called a smart peak that contains electronic magnetic sensors to check the interior condition of the pipe wall. If they detect cracks or other problems, worker can further inspect sections of that pipeline or dig it up for repairs and replacement. You can see the smart peak has been launched inside the um, pipeline where magnetic sensors are used to examine the pipeline. Odometer wheels measures exactly where the peak is in the pipeline, means which kilometer. The another, now another term for this smart peak is EGP or electronic geometry peaking. So any variations in the internal diameter of the pipeline caused by ovalities, individual girth weld, bends, valves, fanges, etc. and anomalies like dent, ovality, buckles or any other out of roundness, etc. are detected through this survey. The measurement covers the entire 360 degree of internal pipe wall circumference. The data collected during the inspection run are analyzed by means of an evaluation software which shows the graphical representation of the inner pipeline diameter. Normally, girth welds, wall thickness changes, installations, etc. can be seen on the chart in addition to the dents and ovalities. The EGP tool shall be prepared, pre-checked by tool vendor prior to mobilization and same function tested at site prior to each launch. The EGP tool shall be in line with project specification. In general, caliper tracking in pipeline always starts with carefully monitoring of pressure and flow during the runs. In gas lines, the pressure shall be monitored at the pipe inlet and outlet. In fluid medium, monitoring at pipe inlet is sufficient. By measuring these parameters, the position of each node when stuck can already be determined relatively accurate. Preparation of inspection equipment prior to mobilization. The inspections under the contract shall be performed with geometry tool using the most sophisticated sensor technology, data recording, processing technology available in the market. Prior to mobilize, while preparing the caliper tool, the entire electronics with all individual components will be tested to make sure that all units including sensors and softwares are working properly. Pre-inspection survey at site. The pre-inspection survey covers temporary launcher, receiver and all valves, if any, in between. The target for the pre-inspection survey are identify possible on-site problem that may delay a plea run, ensure adequate access to all areas along the pipeline for necessary vehicles and identify any obstructions that may encountered while tracking along the pipeline during pig run, especially with consideration to the night driving. 
witness integrity of launcher and receiver including full operation of all valves and pressure gauges ensure all valves and pressure gauges are properly tagged as per as well drawing identifying all the components in the pipeline and girth wells are essential because any indication later on found in the graph can be detected easily inspection equipment verification at site prior to inspection and run a detailed tool check which is called end test will be performed to check the proper functionality of the inspection tool different test will be carried out to check all vital components and functions of the vendor inspection tool preparation of launching of electronic geometric rig preparation for the inspection of the pipeline section will be finalized on the day before the inspection is scheduled the work steps are as follows obtain necessary approvals and permit to commence the pigging operation prepare pipeline for electronic caliper survey prepare launcher and receiver for launching and receiving the pigs check that launcher receiver are ready and operational check the main line valves if available on pipeline are fully open and bypass valves are in closed condition provide workshop with power for setting up the tool preparation of the tool for survey and downloading data after completion of the run ensure that there is a clear and flat area behind the launcher and receiver to allow tool vendor to set up the tray for caliper tool prepare pumping facilities for pigging preparation of pumps and compressor for running ensure that they are ready for operation ensure pump or compressor is properly serviced and maintained to provide uninterrupted continuous operation during the electronic caliper tool run prepare the electronic caliper tool install fully charged batteries erase data for previous run from tool memory check magnets sensors odometers are functioning correctly launching procedure the inspection tools are being delivered in a special transport frame this frame protects the tool during transportation and will be used for inserting or retrieving the tool into the launcher and retrieving from the receiver the tool will be pushed into the barrel by using pushing bars the tools will be propelled by compressed air back pressure air packing and final preparation to control the speed of the smart peak always we need to put a back pressure prior to starting the caliper survey run the section of the pipeline shall be packed with air to ensure that during the run the caliper survey tool surge is avoided to maximum extent that possible that means to make the caliper survey tool speed constant it should not run too fast or maintain a continuous speed changing of back pressure at site level on agreement with the tool vendor is possible in order to control and maintain a constant back pressure during the entire run a bypass valve shall be used at the receiver to maintain the back pressure the back pressure shall be continuously monitored a pressure gauge is also will be installed for this purpose establish communication via mobile radio or mobile telephone between the sectional launcher and receiver and confirm all preparatory work is complete and the system is ready for launching electronic tracking device to monitor the progress to the tool will be set out of interval along the section as instructed by the caliper engineer or technician complete final check of all valve positioning and sign of section valve checklist this is to ensure that all main line valves in the section are fully open and the bypass are closed during run after the pig has been launched and pig must be tracked and compressor must be monitored to ensure that they operated continuously the following work steps are to be ensured while pig is being run continuously monitor the compressor record and log pressure at the inlet 
of the pipeline at least every 30 minutes ensure continuous operation of pumps or compressor monitor pump or compressor condition and fuel or lube level so that the operation is not affected track progress of pig at pre-decided locations monitor locating equipment to check when the pig passes already pre-identified pipeline locations communicate with pumping crew to get updates on compression while tool is running. The caliper tool will be propelled through the entire length of the section of the pipeline. The process and speed of the tool will be monitored and recorded using electronic tracking devices pre-sighted on the pipeline. The back pressure will be monitored and maintained from the receiver via the bypass valve. This will ensure smooth running of the tool at a speed with limit specified to avoid any surges. Contractor representative shall be located at the receiver shall maintain the required back pressure by venting off to the atmosphere. Upon completion of the run and when the caliper engineer or technician have detected the caliper tool in the receiver by means of the electronic tracking devices the pig receiver isolation valve will be closed and pig receiver vented to the atmosphere and caliper tool removed from the receiver profile tool profile tool can be equipped with a transmitter device the electronic transmitter or EPT for the tracking purposes the EPT continuously transmits electromagnetic low frequency signals which will be detected by an above ground electronic detector. This is to determine the caliper tool position every time in the pipeline. Now the final step. After the run, we need to download the data from caliper tool. Upon inspection tool retrieval, contractor field technician will download the data set into the computer station. Based on the result of the data check, the responsible contractor's field technician will confirm if the survey was successful or not. The site survey reports will be handed over to the client within 48 hours to complete the inspection service. The results shall be evaluated and a preliminary site report will be submitted within 3 to 5 days to the client. On site, the report will confirm that data has been collected and will identify any major features found in the first pass of the data. This table is to show you a sample of a operating parameters. The minimum back pressure is 72.5 psi, optimum is 72.5 and maximum is 1305. Minimum speed is 0.5 meter per second to maximum 5 meter per second. In this way you can see 20 inch the minimum back pressure is 87, maximum is 1305, minimum speed can be 0.3 to maximum 5. For 36 inch it is almost similar. So this is for your information only. In case to case this can be changed after discussing with your caliper tool vendor. Here is a, uh, a here is an example what caliper tool vendor provides the services to you. They design the tool, they built up the electronic uh, testing lab and all the required software. They assemble the tool and they test to check the functionality. They develop the software. Here here you can see some views uh, the in house caliper testing you can see here some high resolution geometry tool what a tool should have robust and state art design using quality quality components made as per asmi b31.g procedures and requirements inspection as per api 1163 reporting compliance to pof means pipeline operator forum multi-channel design covering 100% circumference of the pipeline, latest generation of electronic used in tool which can result into better faster data interpretation and quick results, battery life of minimum 5 and maximum of 10 days depending upon the size, ensuring smooth inspection for longer section pipelines, unique features in the software sceptre, 
compatible for XYZ inspection with state of art IMU technology. So this is a specification of a tool. So when you order, you must check the specification which serves your purpose or not. Here are some tool data sheet for your information. You can stop the slide and read the data if you like. Here how the result looks. Data quality evaluation. First results within two to four hours after retrieving the caliper tools from the receiver enabling the client to start any further action if required. If there is any serious dents or damage, the contractor can start the rectification. Identify the area, cut out that area, replace with a good section if it is required. If there is any doubt, further investigation is required. Client version of our data interpretation software enable the client to view the whole tool run and to measure all features for themselves. Print in sections if required. Uh, this is a screenshot from the computer how the software looks and what type of data it is providing. You can see the run summary after the total run completed. It mentions that run time is 110 minutes. Odometer, uh, odometer 1 measures 544.3 meter length of the pipeline and the odometer 2 is measuring 526.6 meter to get an approximate idea. Calculated distance is 523.38 meter. Here are some indications to show you how the girth oil looks, how launcher valve looks, if there is any T or fittings in the pipeline, how it looks. You can see if there is any bend in the pipeline, how it looks. So all the indications are not defect here. Here is a view of a dent, how a dent should look in a caliper survey graph outcome. You can see the three-dimensional view about for the dent as well as its graphical representation on the right. Here is a preliminary report. Preliminary report delivered in seven days. Final report within two to four weeks. Data representation with the real time system. So guys, here are some idea. This is, a, this is an expert job, but we should have overall idea to supervise or inspect as a client or as a contractor. Hope this video will give you an idea of the caliper run or smart pigging in the pipeline. If you like my channel, please share with your friend and subscribe my channel to get this type of video early in your device. Thank you. Signing off. Showman.